Good evening, all you viewers out there. It's Maroth, and welcome to a game called The Time Traveler. Again, this is another indie developed game by Game Jolt. Well, not by Game Jolt, but it's actually on Game Jolt. Excuse me. Sorry about that. And I don't know. It looked cool. I was reading the description of it, and it seems to be a time traveling game. Now, there's not too many games out there that I've played that have time travel as the main focus or anything like that. So, on that note, if that's the case, it looks so good, and it's an 8-bit game kind of style, like the retro RPGs, kind of give that RPG maker feel to it. I don't know if that is what this game is based on or what it was made with, but apparently this is the 001 game engine. I will leave a link to the description of where you can download it if you want to try it for yourself. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, new game. Oh, I get to make my new character! Oh, nice! Okay, oh, my gender is male. Hair color. I, I like, you know what? Black hair. Yeah. Oh, my name is... M-A-R-O-T-A. Maroth. Done. Woo! Silence, my friends. Silence. The master will talk to you in a moment. Welcome, my children. I can see that many of you have come here to swim in my glory. And maybe also to learn something from me, but we'll take care of that in detail later. Now, if you want to get away my autograph, then you will have to pay 30 sirens. Yeah, that will do. I love you! Please sign this sword for me. Pretty, please. Can I touch you? Not all of you at the same time. I'm getting ripped off here. I and I quite like it. So, as I was saying... Ugh, I'm so tired. Water. Someone. <laughs> I love it! What? Who said that? I'm sorry to interrupt this meeting of some sort, but I have a problem. Can't you see I'm busy right now? Can't you touch me and take my autograph after my speech? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> can you see I'm busy right now? You can touch me and take my autograph after my speech. But I'm not here for that. Please listen to me. It's a matter of time, literally. I guess I can make an exception for you, my little exhausted fellow. I can see you've come quite a way. <clears throat> and please, take a swim in the lake before you come my... Oh, and please, take a swim in the lake before you come for my autograph. Right, right, whatever. I need you to help me with my little, uh, big problem. It's all started like this. I like it. Flashback. I was meeting my friend and the night that happened. He was awaiting me in front of the house. Okay, so now I get to control my character. Wow. Uh, I guess not anymore. <laughs> okay. Pedro? Oh! Maroth! You scared the pumpkin out of me! Not that loud. You want the... You want that witch to hear you? Wait. You were sleeping just a moment ago. What? No, I, I wasn't. Okay, maybe I did take a short nap. Why are you looking at me like this? It's one in the morning! I just want you to take it serious. The witch could be dangerous. But I need that crystal. You know how much it matters to me? The community in my village will never accept me again after what I did. I'm reliving the magic crystal. Or, excuse me. Retrieving the mas. Retrieving the magic crystal is my only chance to redeem myself. You are my best friend, and are you are going to help me. So we get in, take the crystal, and get out like nothing happened. Yes, and remember to stay away from. Wait! 
Is she? Yep, she's going to sleep. Finally! Ready for some action, bro? Heck yeah, bro! Breakfast? No. <laughs> the ASD to move. Ooh. Okay. Enter to interact. Yeah. Why you were lazing around? I sneaked around the house to find two entrances. You see, the first entrance is right here. Can't we just walk in by the front door just like that? Well, why not? As long as we sneak in and don't make any sounds. Okay, what is the second entrance then? Back door! To the east side of the house. Of course, the back door. The tricky part is that both entrances are locked. You need somehow to pick the lock in those doors. It's your call which way you're getting in. We'll need to find the crystals faster if we split up, so I'll go by the other door. Here are some long pigs I picked up from my Never Use Again box. Never Use Again box? Okay. I'll finally make up. No. I'll finally make a use for them, or. you will. I didn't understand any of that. Just go! Lock pig, that's what I got. Ooh, cool. Uh, after some technical difficulties, I got stuck over there, where that one is right now. I'm not going back that way. Nope. Okay, so that's the front door. Again! Man, these indie games, they really have some good music. I like it. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I guess that's the back... Ooh, what's that? Can I enter? Aha! Here we go. Lock picking. Sometimes you'll have to use lock picks in order to get somewhere you shouldn't be to open something you shouldn't open. Hmm, no kidding. When an arrow is highlighted, press the corresponding arrow on your keyboard. You'll break a lock pick if you press the wrong arrow. You can cancel lock pick uh, excuse me. You can cancel lock picking by pressing ESC. Ah, huh. oh, okay. Something tells me that the f the further on I get on in the game, and this is a prediction, I haven't played this yet, but something's going to tell me, and the further on I get into this game, those things are going to be a pain, because they're going to either go like really fast, or there's going to be a lot of them. So we'll see. You succeeded! Woo! Okay, so... Are you sure you want to continue? You won't be able to get back here anytime soon. I don't want to look around, I want to figure out how this game works. Find a way into the witch's house. This. What the? I really don't like it. I should get the crystal and get out of here. Oh, that's a dead body! Ooh, what's this? A piece of armor. Doesn't look very heavy. Take the armor? Uh, heck yeah, take the armor. Chainmail armor, yeah. Uh, what? The bottles are empty. It's not like I would drink whatever could be in them anyway. Smart man. Smart man. Ooh, how do I fight? Where am I? Oh, uh, ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, how do I, how do I fight? Ow. Ow! Stop it. Aha, okay, so that's... Two X. How do I fight? Q W E. Uh. I got a sword. I know I ha I can fight. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, what is that? That's a Z. I wonder what does Z do? Ah! Ah! Stay! No! Oh! Oh! Oh god! Oh no! The flip? Oh! Oh, you're not cool! Hey! Ah! This is weird. Pedro should be waiting for me somewhere. Or somewhere downstairs. I hope he's alright. This door is locked. I wonder if there's a key somewhere. Of course! This door is, looks really old. I think I won't be able to open it. 
Get some dang upkeep in this house. Lovely house, by the way. Are you sure you want to continue? You won't be able to get back anytime soon. Yeah, I want to continue. This is like oddly reminiscent of the the theme from uh Oh, wait, what is it? What is it? Don't tell me. That theme, uh, Elusive Man. If you guys ever played Mass Effect, the Elusive Man, he was like one of the mysterious possible villains in the game. And uh, this, I don't know, the soundtrack just sounds very familiar. I like it. Abracadabra. Let that be light. Uh, I said, let there be light. There we go. Now, let's see how, what I managed to catch today. Pedro. Uh, who said that? Run, Maroth. She's going to eat us both. I with ketchup. What? I don't think I'd taste good with ketchup. Whoever you are, come out of the shadows. I just love walking like, oh yeah. Let my friend free you, witch. Right, you are his friend, I suppose. Then why did you come here by the back door instead of getting in with him? Answer, maybe I'll let both of you out. Don't listen to her, Maroth. She's more likely... It's more likely for her to eat her own cat than letting us free. Shut your mouth, I'm vegetarian. So, are you going to answer me? Answer, persuade, refuse to talk, silence. Oh, I do love a good silent, uh, villain, um, silent character, but... You might help me, so... This kind of game here is like a choices thing. Like, you can pick anything, and whatever choices you make is going to affect the gameplay later. I love these kind of games. Telltale is really good for doing that kind of stuff. I love their style of games. I would do a Let's Play of like something like, uh, what is it, Wolf Among Us, which has been out for about a year or two now, and of course Walking Dead, but I looked up on uh, Telltale, and it doesn't seem they like the cinematics. And anyway, back to the game. You know what? I'll answer. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. We split up. We may. We wanted to find the magic crystal. The shaman of our village told me that I could find it here, somewhere inside your house. I appreciate your honesty, but I still don't like that you broke into my home. And Mr. Salem's house, of course. Meow. Yeah, yeah, I'll feed you when I'm done. <laughs> when I'll be done here. Oh, uh, just like a cat. So, because you want the magic crystal, you broke into my house and freely walked around like it's yours? Um, yeah. You know, I have that crystal in the room with the old door. You'll need to use magic to open them. So, maybe you could do that for me. I'll have the crystal for a couple of days. You'll free my friend and everybody is happy. What do you say? No. Uh, oh. Okay. Wait, was that me that said it? Whoops. I'm ending this. What? What are you gonna do? Go. I don't want to look at you anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Cool. Actually, I've changed my mind. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a safe thing. Okay. What? Start it! Pedro, no! Where is he? What did you do? <laughs> that was fun. Did you think that I would let you free just like that? That's so funny. You'll pay for this. I'll get my friend back, and you are not going to stop me. And how do you want to do that? <laughs> he's dead. My little friend, he's dead. The only way to get him would be getting back in time! <laughs> but you don't know how to time travel, do you? I don't. But I know a guy who does. Then I shouldn't have given you that idea, should I? Yes, I'll travel back in time, and we'll never even get near the house, and you are going to regret what you did. You'll never succeed! Now, go to your village and give them the message. Tell them about what I did so they don't bother me anymore. Don't worry, Pedro. I'll fix this. 
I'm going to save us both in the past. I like it. I like it. So here I am. I was told that you mastered time travel and that you can help me. I traveled many days to find you and finally here I am. Now I can go back in time and save my friend. But... No, 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 no! The price doesn't matter. I'll pay any amount of sirens to get my friend back. But I can't time travel. Oh man, that's gonna... Wow. <laughs> Sorry, the record scratch gets me. What? I know a guy who can time travel. He lives in the south. It seems like you have mistaken me for him. I'm sorry, the master. Is that a Doctor Who reference? I'm just wondering because there is a villain named the master. Maybe. I don't know. Oh. Oh, okay. So there was really no reason to tell you that story then. <laughs> Whoops. I'll just go in the opposite direction, I guess. Cool story, though. The Time Traveler. Oh, man, this is gonna be so cool. I can tell. The guy really, really outdid himself. You were time traveling for many days until you found yourself in a place known as the Caledonian Village. The master of time travel doesn't trust new people. Seriously? It's so dang hard to find a good time traveler these days. <laughs> you need to prove that you aren't a threat for our village. Help at least five people in our community and then come back here. Word spread fast in this village and my master will know if you help someone. Or... Or... Bring me two thousand sirens and I'll let you in uh, if I see a nice big pouch filled with at least that much. This should be fun. Pedro, or at least his soul, or body, or well, whatever he is right now, can wait a little. Let's go to work then. Huh. Uh, I guess I can't interact with you? Oh, treasure chest! Raid the chest! Steel dagger! Cool! Huh, well... Can I... No? Huh. That is weird. Ooh, who's that? Whoops. Ah! What'd I do? Okay. I drank something. No? Okay. In order to talk to the time traveler, you must have either five... Okay. That's the usher. Thank you, usher! I just want to save my friend. Okay. Uh, where do I go? Who do I talk to? It's like, these people, are they scripted? Or maybe I'm just looking at the wrong people. Maybe they're just, I have to go for village. Ooh, where am I? Okay. You're new around here, aren't you? Yeah, I came in this morning. Didn't have time to even look around. I think I can help you out. You asked me questions about this place I was born here and well, practically. I'm Fred, by the way, and you are? What do you care? Tell- Ah, you know what? I'm a nice guy. My name. I'm Maroth. Nice to meet you. And things like that. I'm glad to see someone who acts like nice at least once. I guess that's what I get for being an innkeeper. What can I do for you? Informations. Yeah. You probably know what's going around. You share some info about the village? Yeah, sure. So. The center of the village is north from here, really close to the sim. There are two big houses, a little one and a shop, most of which people from our community live here at the end. Vivek is an exception. He's a scientist and a darn good one. Although he doesn't come out quite often, I even have keys to his house in the center of our village. Anyway, what can I do for you? Back. Okay. Oh, I get it. The little star thing means they got a quest, I bet you. Hey there, stranger. Would you like to help our community by killing some ghosts at the local cemetery? What's the problem? A few days ago, our local cemetery started to fill with ghosts, and nobody knows why. 
You look like a person who can use a sword or an axe. Can you kill those guests for us? Yeah, sure. I feel a weird power emanating from you. The ghosts are afraid of you. That's probably because of my visit at the witch's house. There were a lot of weird magic things. Ghosts will vanish before you. To make them vulnerable again, you will need to walk in front of the little stone obelisk and say, Mames Osted Night Vos. Did I pronounce that right? Is that Sanskrit or Latin? Mans Ostendite Vos? Vos? That'd be kinda cool. If I said it right, cool. But if not, and if you know it, correct me. You'll find it next to the north entrance to the cemetery. I'll just note this in my journal. I will give you 100 sires if you complete the quest. Oh, and by the way, to get to the cemetery, you need to go to the center of the village and then turn west and then south. It's really close. Thanks, my friend, and good luck. Huh. That's cool. Alright, so I really gotta figure out what the heck I'm doing. Okay. SDF. I gotta figure out how I, I can swing my sword, because... <laughs> I, I don't know. What button is it? Is it tab? Shift control. Aha! There we go, yeah! Okay, so now we're good. I wish that's like the one thing it kind of lacked was a bit of a tutorial. That was good that they showed me some of the mechanics, but the combat part, uh, that could, you know, that might, <laughs> that could be a little bit more helpful. They told us control is what... Sorry! I didn't mean to swing at you. I'll behave, I promise. Don't hate me! Okay, but anyway, no, seriously. Uh, it would be great if they said, hey, control is, is how you fight, you know. So anyway. Yeah. What's this? I found a si Ooh. I found a silver dagger and eighty dollars and the and eighty XP. Ooh, what are you? You're a glowy thing. Ooh, magic clusters. Throughout your journey you can find magic clusters like this one. Collect them to increase your max MP magic points by five. Touch the cluster to collect it. All clusters look the same. Look for them in hard to reach places. Cool. I'm sorry, Ungar, there we go. Okay. Sorry about that. It's just I gotta I'm doing that so I can remember that's the attacking. Attacking. Uh oh, is that chicken? Can I kill the chicken? Or is it gonna be like eh? <laughs> Get back here! No. Ah. Okay, not a Zelda reference then. Incense property of the great scientist, Vivek Ain and friend, the innkeeper. Stay away! The innkeeper told me that this is the key, that he has the key to his house. Oh, that's kind of cool. Is that a dog? Oh, those are wolves. Cool. Don't attack me. Ah, uh, shoot! Ah! Ow! Ow! Ah! 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 Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, no. At least the chickens here don't retaliate against me. Running. Bad wolf. Bad dog. Bad dog. Nah. Uh, flip. Okay. Yeah. These wolves are scaring. Ah! There we go. Yeah! Uh, can I loot the bodies? No? Okay. Ooh, nice statue. I wonder what the villagers. or, I wonder why the villagers built it. They didn't build me. Wait, what? You can talk? Oh, you are insulting me. Of course I can talk, dummy. Hey, now you're insulting me. <laughs> I can talk, and I can count, and I can rhyme. And actually, I can't rhyme. But you know what? I'm going to learn how to rhyme, because why not? <laughs> I like this statue. <laughs> why are you here, and who are you? I'm a statue. I can make your wishes come true. So, what do you want? Well... 
I want to be rich. I want to be. <laughs> yeah. I can make you rich. One thousand plus sirens, or make villagers like you more. Plus one to saving page request. But you need to bring me ten magic clusters, which are scattered around the place. Okay, I'll come back when I collect them all. See you soon. Of course, there's a catch. So my health is like. Ooh. Oh, uh, okay. X is like my magic, I think. Oh, but my- Ah! <laughs> Was not expecting that. Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 you run now, huh? Ah, gotcha. 70 bucks and 50 EXP. Okay, cool. So... Here, doggy doggy. Ah, no. Ah, ah. Oh shoot, no. Down boy. Okay. Maybe it was a bad idea. There we go. So, how do I increase my magic? Do you say anything? No? You're silent too? Okay. I'm so stern. Or bored. I don't know. What's here? Five, seven, eight, six. Hmm, huh, cool. Well. That's kinda cool. Oh, there's a cluster. How do I get to you? There we go. Two out of ten. What are you? I guess you're not scripted either? Okay. No problem. Or I can't get to it. What is that? Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. You wanna buy some not very legal stuff? What, what would you like to do? Um. I'll buy. Would you like to buy? Lockpick, silver, steel dagger. Okay, I have $315. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. By the way, I'm Aradarin. If you ever change your mind, don't worry. I'll be here all day. That's nice of you. Even if you are a black market person. So nice. Best weapons across. Oh, oh, can I get a sword? Good to know, I think. On the left and on the left side, he should be st should be standing my daughter, Lilith. However, she's gone for a few hours now, and I'm starting to worry about her. I just hope she's all right. Anyway, want to take a look at my items? Yeah, sure. What you like to do? Bye. Red, twenty HP. You know what? I'm gonna go with, uh... Steel Sword. Just one. Yeah, okay, so it does look a little bit different, I think. It's alright. I have an armor. You buy armor? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so... Okay, I've already got chainmail armor. I just want... Oh, I, thought, I thought it said Pedro's way. I'm like... How did you get Pedro's way ring? Huh? Okay. So, uh, oh, is that a book? Can I read it? No. Okay. So let's see. Ooh. Can I go south? Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey. Ah. Oh. Hey. Sorry. They probably hate me now. Is that a cat? Hi, kitty. This kit looks like she's lost. I wonder who's its owner. Okay, so I gotta remember that location because I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a quest there. Cool. Yay for finding things early. <laughs> well, that's a wrap, YouTube. Uh, so far, just noticing this game here, I like it. I love the um, I love the little characters here. They each seem to have their own little bit of a personality going. I love it. Uh, like I said before, when I first started, like, the idea of a time travel game, I haven't seen too many of them. I mean, I've seen 
there's been like Star Trek Online has messed with it. I've seen a couple other things. Uh, my favorite dealing, it wasn't exactly time travel, but it had that sense of, you know, looking into your ancestors' eyes, which obviously was Assassin's Creed. Now, that game was cool, so I don't really know too many games out there that uh, do this whole time travel approach, and I like that. That's really cool, so I hope this game, I will continue that. It, I'm, I, I'm very happy to play it. I'm looking forward to do some more episodes with it, so I will continue this as a series when I can. Uh, on another note, uh, the only con that I can see of this is the lack of a t tutorial, you know, kind of like a beginning stage. Um, it did start out with one. It did show you, like, hey, this is how you lockpick, you know, this is how you move around, which is good, but I didn't see anything about combat, and as you could see, I was being chased, and I died by a wolf, but after a few trial and errors, I was able to figure out that by default it is your left control key that swing your sword. So on that note, again, the pros definitely outweigh the cons, so I highly recommend it. Uh, if you want to try it, I will leave a link in the description below. So again, thank you guys so much for sticking around and watching this. If you like the content, feel free to stick around some more because there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out. So. Until next time, viewers, stay tuned.